assembly line in a light bulb factory is where all the parts come together. But you really can't start there because there's a lot that happens first. Now, most of us seldom get a chance to see what's inside a light bulb until we try to change one and end up dropping it on the floor. The little wire that's coiled up inside is called the filament. And it's made in a big room that looks like this. The filaments are made of tungsten wire, wire that's about as thin as one of the hairs on your head. The machines coil it up once, and then take the coil and coil it up again. That way they end up getting 21 inches of wire into one 60-watt bulb. Now once the filament is wound, it's only five-eighths of an inch long. And then somebody like Helga McCarthy has to look at each one of them and try to find the mistakes. It's not a hard job. It's a very strange job on, for your eyes. You have to look constantly. So that's how the filament gets to the assembly line. And from there, the machines take over, picking up each one and putting them on their mounts so that they can eventually get trapped inside those nice glass bulbs. But actually, they're pretty tough. It's also pretty hard to believe that they make these things today the same way they did 50 years ago. This is something called the ribbon machine at the Corning Glass Works. It makes the bulbs for light bulb factories by blowing air through a ribbon of hot glass. Something like the way you blow a bubble with bubble gum. The ribbon machine can crank up to 2,000 bulbs a minute, enough to keep the country lit up practically forever. So here we are, back on the line. The filaments are all ready. The bulbs are standing by. And everything's geared up, ready to bring the two together. It takes a lot of fire, heat, and noise to light up our living rooms. But when you see how fast it all happens, you can understand why light bulbs are plentiful and cheap, instead of being a luxury only rich people can afford.